If you need a database that runs in a browser, you can use an Access app. Start from the backstage, and you can always spot an app template because it has the globe icon. I'll start with the custom template, and enter a name. I can choose a server from the list, or enter a server name, and click Create. From here, you need to search for the kind of data you want to capture, so I'll search on Jobs. These are templates, too, and you just double-click to open the one you want. If you need to capture more data, you can choose another template from the list, or search again with a different term. You can also import tables from other sources, including Excel and SharePoint. Now, the navigation pane is off, so I'll start it, and notice the ribbon's a lot smaller. It's only showing commands that are compatible with HTML5. For example, you can only change tables in Design View. Also, to create relationships between tables, you use lookup fields because they're compatible with HTML5. You work with forms in Layout View, which displays controls and data, and it's a lot like an HTML table. Just columns and rows. As a quick demo, you can see the text in these labels is too long. You can drag to make the labels bigger, but that makes the form hard to read and use. So instead, press Control and click to select the labels and controls. And I'll move them down here. And you can see they snap to a set of guides. Add a label above the controls. And notice how everything shifts around as you work. I'll shorten the text in the other labels and make the notes field bigger. If you need a query, click Advanced on the Home tab, then Query. Again, the choices you see are compatible with HTML5. Select totals and parameter queries, but you use the designer just like always. When you're done building, save your work and click Launch App. The app opens in your browser, and you can enter data. Just remember that with an app, you have to save your data. If you use a finished template instead of a custom database, you can follow the same process. Name, Server, Create. The database is ready to use, so you can just launch it. To change a published database, you can click Customize in Access, and then click Open. Make any changes, save your work, and launch the app to use it again.